ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಪದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯಂ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌಭಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರ್ವಾಮಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವತೀತಮಸ್ತುಮಾವಿಷಾಮಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತೋ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಪ್ರಸಬಂತಾದಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾಹ ಸಪ್ತೀಪಾಚ ಮೇ ದಿನ ಸೊ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಯೋಗ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಬೋತ್ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಶಿಯಲಿ ವೈಚಿತ್ತ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಟು ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಟು ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದಿ ಪರಂಪರ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೀಟೈಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ದೇರ್ ವೈ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಶ್ಲೋಕಸ್ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಹೌಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಟು ಸೂರ್ಯ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಬೈ ಮೀ and then uh, in the uh, in the beginning of the srishti at the beginning of the srishti it was taught to surya and then from there on to ikshvaku manu ityadi so on the sampradaya followed here in the third shloka it says saiva ayam maya edya yoga prokta puratana bhakto kime sakacheti rahasyam yeta uttam this rahasya this secret which is lost in sampradaya that has to be brought back again and since it is a secret it has to be taught only to a deserving candidate who is either a shishya or a bhakta or a friend or a putra ityadi so these, these are indicators sakha here bhakta and sakha is mentioned elsewhere putra and shishya these words are used towards the end of the gita also it has been said that it is a secret rahasya muttam and we saw why it is a secret because even when it is taught still it is difficult to know even if it is published on websites now and it's available everywhere people talk about tattvamasi and uh, uh, aham brahmasmi as if it is you know just uh, like uh, an alphabet they chant it but still it is a secret it is not completely known it is known completely only by a few therefore also it is a secret and the secret should be taught only to bhakta and saka here here uh, interestingly uh, the shankaranandi tika uh, mentions something here as to how is it said as a bhakta here was really arjuna a bhakta here uh, at the point of this fourth chapter he has submitted himself as a shishya as a, as someone who is in has doubt who has a doubt is there a question Uh, Jyotiya ma did you have a question I am assuming that's an error sorry because no issues okay okay so say why maya tejya yoga prokta this yoga which has been taught the uh, here to bhakta why the reason given is you are a bhakta this uttamam rahasyam has been taught because you are a bhakta and the question raised is an interesting point you know the shankarandi makes is that how is he a bhakta how is arjuna krishna's bhakta he is treating him as a friend sakacha is all right that is understood arjuna treated him as a friend but why bhakta so he quotes there uh, arjuna se jnano upadesha yogyatam darshayati bhakta so why is he yogya to be taught because he is a bhakta why is he bhakta so there he quotes uh, the shloka 
यथा शिवमयो विष्णु एवं विष्णुमय शिव सो हाउ शिव इज विष्णुमय एंड विष्णु इज शिवमय सो यू कैन टेक मय देर एज स्वार्थे शिवा इज विष्णु विष्णु इज शिव देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी टू एंड इफ अर्जुन इज नोन टू बी शिव भक्त he is krishna bhakta also because krishna is vishnu avatara and vishnu and shiva there is no difference between the two so very interesting uh, he brings in how he is a bhakta thereby bhakta iti shiva keshavayo ho aveda shravanat shiva roopam maam eva bahirantara mayaya shraddhaya bhajasi atah me bhakta asi sada mad bhajana shilah asi ityartha so he says By Shiva Keshavay, Keshavayu ko abheda shravanat. Since there is a Shruti, it's a Shruti vakya. He says it's a Shruti vakya. Shravanat, or it is heard. So when it is heard, it is generally when you say shravanat, it is uh, even if the Shruti itself may be lost in some pradaya, it is retained in the Karna sampradaya. As to this kind of a statement was there, Vedic statement, and thereby Shiva and Vishnu, there is an abheda. यथा शिवमयो विष्णु एवं विष्णुमय शिव भक्त सी ब्रिंगिंग दिस इन मई ऑल दो एट दिस पॉइंट ऑल दो ऑल दो अर्जुन मे नॉट बी कृष्ण भक्त नाव ही इज स्टील कृष्ण भक्त अन्नोइंगली बिकॉज शिव एंड विष्णु देर इज अभेदा एंड केशव और कृष्ण इज विष्णु दैट मच यू हैव टू एग्री एंड देर बाय थ्रू श्रवण देर इज अर इज अ वननेस स एव मैया तेज्य योग प्रोक्त पुरातन वी डेट डू दी अन्वया आई जस्ट मेन्स इट सो सह सॉरी सह अद्य सह एव सह एव योग अयम अयम योग स एव अयम योग मैया Prokta ha, it's been taught by me. What is what is this? Saha eva puratana ha. Saha puratana eva puratana ha. Eva ayam yoga ha maya prokta ha. And the reason given is yasmat. He he is yasmat. He should go. If it is yasmat, you can put it in the beginning. But he should not go in the beginning. So why? Etat uh, he. रहस्यम उत्तम रहस्यम उत्तम रहस्यम एक उत्तम रहस्यम Take this as bhakta. That is the reason given. So he can go. Etad uttamam rasyam bhavati. Can make a sentence here. Bhavati bhakta hi asi me sakhaj iti. भक्त ये असी एंड मे सखा चेतद उत्तम रहस्यम भवती एंड भक्त असी देर फोर दिस विल बिकम हेतु फॉर मया योग प्रोक्त दिस योग हेज बीन टॉट कैन चेंज दिस अराउंड दिस इज द आइडिया हाउ एवर इट मेक्स सेंस You can uh, shift the words for a better anvaya. I'm assuming this is clear. Saha eva ayam maya taught by me. Te so te has been mis- te is missing here. You got maya te prokta. It is taught to you. Te tu bhiam. चतुर्थी षष्टी की इज ऑल्सो ओके थे तव और तुभ्यम इज बेटर हियर अद्य योग प्रोक्त पुरातन 
Puratana because it is Sanatana. Puratana means Sanatana. It has uh, because it is it has no beginning and end. Although it is lost, it is not really lost. And since you are my friend Sakhaja, it is Sakha is Pullinga. Actually, Sakhi Shabda becomes Sakha in Prathama Ekochana. Rasyam hi etat tamam. Further, Bhagavata Vipratishiddham Uktam Iti Mabhut Kasyachid Buddhi Hi Iti Parihararartam Chodhyam Yo Kurvan Kurvan Arjuna Uvacha. So, one should not consider now. Sahayeva, uh, what has been said? Here, ending with the third shloka, it is said, this is the very teaching which was given earlier to at the beginning of the Srishti to, uh, to uh, Vivasvata. Vivasvata, who is o Surya. So, what was taught at the beginning of the Srishti is being taught to you by me. So, same teaching is understood. The same teaching, Parapuratanaha, it never had an end. All that can be agreed with, but how can I agree or how will someone understand that you, who is what, four or five years elder to me, uh, I think around this time of uh, Mahabharata, uh, Arjuna was around, I think, 67, 68 years old. Uh, Krishna was some 72, 73 or something, around that age. How can you have taught at the beginning of the Shrishti? So, if this kind of a doubt exists in somebody's mind, Arjuna raises a doubt only for, he does not have that doubt. So, this is a benefit given by Bhagavan Bhashyakara to Arjuna that Arjuna does not have this doubt, but uh, this teaching he has been, is for others also. Others also considering that this teaching is for others. So, Bhagavan Bhashyakara losses over in this manner that Bhagavata Pratishidha Muktam Iti Mahabhut because Krishna knows that uh, this teaching is for the entire populace by making Arjuna Nimitta. So, Bhagavata Yutprati Siddham Uktam Iti Mahabhut Kasyachit Buddhi as though raising a doubt, although uh, Arjuna himself may not have doubt, but he may not have entire clarity also. He has some idea of who Krishna is, but he does not know that he is Ishwara or he does not know it completely. So, he has, he may not have a doubt that uh, Bhagavan, Krishna, what he is it saying is contradictory. He does not doubt Krishna. So, although he does not know how is it that he, he has taught to uh, Surya and how is it that the same 70 odd years old Krishna has taught to Surya at the beginning of the Srishti, not now. So, considering that uh, uh, Krishna is not lying, but I do not understand. Bhagavata Vipratishidam Uktam Iti Mahabhut. Kasyachit Buddhi, someone who listens to this conversation later, because uh, others are also hearing. Others are also hearing in a sense, it will be recorded. So, Sanjay is telling uh, Dhritarashtra now, uh, all this which is being heard by others, they should not think that Bhagavan made a contradictory statement. Although Arjuna does not think it is contradictory, Vipratishiddham Uktam Iti Mahabhut. Let it not be so. Kasyachit Buddhi, somebody's thinking should not be so. Iti Parihararatam. To resolve this kind of a doubt, which someone might else might have, Chodhyam Iva. Chodhyam means as if raising a doubt. Iva means as if. As if raising a doubt, Chodhyam. Questioning, as if questioning, Chodhyam Kurvan. Chodhyam Iva Kurvan means as though raising a doubt, Arjuna Havvacha. Arjuna asked, what did he ask? Arjuna Havvacha. Aparambhavato janma paranjanma vivasvataha kathametad vijaniyam tomato proktavaniti. So, bhavataha janma aparambhavati. Aparam is, is later. So, bhavataha janma, we will mark the cases later. Bhavataha janma aparambhavati is later. Vivasvataha Janma Vivasvataha Janma is what? Janma is neuter. 
जन्मन शब्द जन्म परम भवती इज अरियर टू यू हाउ इज इट दैट यू टॉट सूर्य कथम एक विजानीय सो विजानीय हाउ आई विल नो दिस हाउ वुड आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो ही पुट्स इट एज इफ ही इट इज हिज डाउट बट इट इज अदर्स डाउट एज वेल कथम एक दिस आइडिया एक कथम विजानीय अहम अहम विजानीय सो हाउ कथम अहम एक विजानीय और एक कथम अहम विजानीय हाउ शुड आई नो एंड व्हाट इज दैट विजानीय हाउ कथम विजानीय व्हाट इज दैट एक एक इज इति एक सो यू कैन कोट व्हाट इज इट तुम आद तुम प्रोक्तवान आद इन द बिगिनिंग आद तुम प्रोक्तवान हेड यू सेड आई टॉट हिम दैट इज अंडरस्टो आद इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द सृष्टि दैट स्टेटमेंट आई डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड सो आद तुम प्रोक्तवान एक कथम विजानी हाउ विल आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस Now you can mark the cases as bhavata janma, all first case here, param bhavati and vivaswata janma shasti. One question: vivas vivaswata janma, katham etad vijaniyam. So etad will be in second case. Vijaniyam. How will I know? How would I know? Vidhiling. From adu saptami one question of adi proktavaniti. You taught in the beginning. How will I understand this? This idea. Eta this this idea which you have mentioned. How will I understand this? Ya vastu deve anishvara asarvajnya ashanka ashanka anishvara asarvajnya ashanka murka na. Arjuna is not murka. So murka is mudha also deluded also. So ya vastu deve vastu deve vastu deve vishe regarding vastu deva. या आशंका विच शंका इज देर व्हाट इज दैट डाउट आशंका डाउट इज शंका आशंका है सेम मीनिंग आशंका व्हाट इज दैट डाउट और क्यूरियोसिटी आशंका कैन ऑल्सो क्यूरियस व्हाट इज दैट अनिश्वर एंड असर्वज्ञ ही इज नॉट ईश्वरा एंड ही इज नॉट सर्वज्ञ बिकॉज ही टॉट सूर्य भगवान सूर्य हु इज अ प्रोटेक्टर ऑफ द एंटायर वर्ल्ड एंड हु भगवान सूर्य इज मेडिटेटेड अपॉन देर इज एन उपासना डन एज सर्वज्ञ एक्चुअली सर्वज्ञ बिकॉज गायत्री उपासना गायत्री मंत्र इज ऑल उपासना ऑफ सवित्र देवता सविता देवता दिस सविता देवता इज आदित्य आदित्य अंतर्गत आदित्य सूर्य मंडल अंतर्गत नाउ दिस देवता इज टॉट बाय कृष्ण so krishna has to be definitely sarvajnya but one may think murkha murkha may think that he is not sarvajnya asarvajnya how can he teach aditya or anishwara he is not ishwara if that kind of a doubt is there for murkhas murkhas doubts ya vasudeve vishaye anishwara asarvajnya ashanka bhavati kesham bhavati murkhana me bhavati those who do not understand so murkhana means those who do not have shastra gyana does not mean mean uh, you know that person may have phd also have, have multiple phd also but still murkha from the shastra vishaya perspective tam pariharan tam ya ashanka bhavati tam ashankam pariharan paritaharan resolving um, the doubt along with its roots whatever is the doubt completely completely pariharan is complete pariharan means completely taking away that doubt or resolving that doubt shri bhagwan uvach so after this you cannot have a doubt after this shloka one cannot doubt that bhagwan is not ishwara or is not sarvajnya one cannot have such a entertain such a doubt yadartha hi arjuna se prashna and this is the reason why arjuna has asked the doubt what is the reason that dullards may be thinking untrained in shastra may be thinking that krishna is not ishwara he is a krishna is vasudeva putra 
just Vasudev Putra, some Leela he has done, uh, some stories may be there, but he is not Ishara, he is not Sarvajna. This kind of a doubt, Yadartha, to resolve, Yadartha is what? Tam Pariharan, Pariharartha, Pariharartha, he Arjunasya Prashnaha. Arjuna may not have it, but for others, he, he is facilitating this shloka. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha, Bahuni me vyati tani janmani tavacharjuna tanya ham veda sarvani natum veta parantapa. So Bahuni me vyati tani janmani me tavacha arjuna. He arjuna me tavacha bahuni janmani vyati tani bhavanti. There are many uh, janmas which have gone, my janmas as well as your janmas. My janmas as in Krishna is saying as an avatara, literal meaning. As an avatara, I have taken many avataras. And Arjuna, you have also taken many janmas as a jiva. So, Ishwara, I as Ishwara have, I have taken many janmas, avatarana as Rama, Ityadi earlier, and I will be taking. Yatitani, they have gone by. But, also indicating that this will this will continue. Tavacha Arjuna. This idea will be continued in the next shloka also. But Tavacha Arjuna, as a jiva, you also want. Same Satchidananda Tattva, which I am, you also are, but you are restricted to one sharira and you do not know your earlier shariras that you have taken. I, however, am not deluded by Maya. You have an Avarana Shakti and a Vikshepa Shakti which is influencing you. You are deluded by that. Because of not knowing your true nature and knowing yourself as something else, as a limited being, you consider yourself as this body-mind sense complex associated with that at least and you do not recall any of the Janmas. You remain deluded as this, uh, as Pandava. Me, however, I do not consider myself as Krishna as Vasudeva Putra. I consider myself as pervading all of the Shariras and thereby I am Sarvajna and Sarvashaktiman and Ishwara. I am Karma Phaladata also. I am Jagatkarta. This is what Bhagavan is saying here. Thereby Sarvajna Bahuni me Vyati Tani Janmani Tavacha Arjuna Tani Janmani Aham Veda Tani Sarvani Janmani. Not one or two. I know all my Janmas. So by Sarvani all my janmas, even as jiva, I myself am born and I do not get deluded as jiva, whereas you get deluded as jiva. So, I am as though segmented in your form, but I am not really segmented, thereby this aikya which is there appears as dvaita. Sarvani, natvam he parantapa tom na vetha, you do not know. So, vidhatu. Vidhatu, I had mentioned earlier also, there is optional form. Uh, the first five pratyas are optionally replaced by, by uh, lit pratyas. Lit pratyas are nal atus us, thal atus a nal vamaha. These are the nine pratyas. But the first five, nal atus us, thal, uh, thal atus. So thal atus, these are the five which are optional latlakara forms. Litlakara pratyas, but we will give Latlakara. So, Latlakara forms, but in the Lat meaning. Here, Bahuni mi veti tani janmani tavach arjuna tani aham veda. Aham veda, nal, nal will give you veda. Vid will become veda, guna. And then, uh, nal content is a. Lakara goes and uh, nakara also goes. Uh, lakara by halantya mit tasilopa and nakara by chutu. So, tasilopa. So, Veda, Veda will be, take Guna, Ikara takes Guna and becomes Veda. So, Veda is what? Janami. <coughs> Meaning is Janami. If you use another Dhatu and Latlakara, you will get Janami. So, Vetha, Vetha, Thal, Atus, Thal, Thal, Thal is Madhya Purusha Ekvachana, Vetha. Content is Tha, Thal, Lakara is it, Tha is the content. So, Vetha, again Veda, Veda and Dakara and Thakara Sandhi will become, Dakara will become Takara. Vetha means you know. Na Vetha. Na will go with the word. So you do not know. He parantapa. Tani Vyati Tani Sarvani Janmani Aham Veda. He parantapa. Tvan tu. Tu as in uh, I am adding tu for contrast to show. Tvam 
Sarvani Janmani Naveda. Navetha. You, know, you do not know. So, he Parantapa. So, Paran, Parantapayati Parantapa. Parantapa. Me Tavacha. Bahuni. Okay, actually, Parantapa can go later because he will also have Arjuna. He Arjuna. Me Tavacha. Bahuni Janmani, many Bahuni Janmani Vyatitani Vyatitani is Tanta Vyatita V Purvaka Ati Purvaka E Enigato Dhatu and Ta Nishta Pratyakta Janmani Vyatitani Vyatitani or Vyatitani Bhavanti Tani Tani Sarvani Sorry. Tani Sarvani Aham Veda Tum Navetha Vetha You can bring this Tani Sarvani Aham Veda Tum Tani Sarvani Navetha So you can repeat it as well Aham Tani Sarvani Ved Aham Tani Sarvani Veda Tom Tani Sarvani Na Vedha Earlier He Parantapa Can I add the end He Parantapa Tom Tani Sarvani Na Vedha Parantapa is Sambodhana, Arjuna is also Sambodhana. Sambodhana, you have to hear Arjuna. And me, me is Shashti Ekvachana. Bahuni Janmani Bhavanti. So here, Prathama Ekvachana. Prathama Ekvachana. And this is also Prathama Ekvachana. Tava Cha Arjuna. Tani, here Tani, however, Aham, Aham is in Prathama, Aham Veda, Kartari Prayoga. So, uh, Uttama Purusha question, I may have said Prathama Purusha. So, Uttama Purusha, uh, uh, Veda, so, just let me cross check. First five Pratya should be, uh, I remember first five Pratya, otherwise you can take a, as, uh, uh, as little Akara itself. Mm. I don't remember the Sutra. Mm. Just a second. Give me a moment, please. Since this doubt has come, I would like to pass Hmm. Oh, sorry, Vidola Tova. Yeah, so all, all practice that was for uh, Bruaha. So, Bruha Panchana. Okay, so uh, I got confused with uh, Brudhatu. I'm sorry. So, uh, not uh, uh, so with optional form for with is not for the first five for all the so Veda uh, Vidatu Vidu Vedtha Vidatu Vida then Veda Vida Vidma. So, uh, Latlakara forms will be Vetti, Vetti which is same as Janati, but Vetti, Veda, but Veda will repeat in uh, Prathama Ekvachana, Uttama Purusha Ekvachana, Prathama Purusha Ekvachana, as well as uh, Madhya Purusha Bhuvachana, Nalatus Us, Thalatus Nalvamaha, so thereby Thalatus A Nalvamaha, content is A in Prathama uh, Ekvachana, uh, sorry Prathama Purusha Ekvachana, Madhya Purusha Bhavachana and uh, Uttama Purusha Ekvachana. So this is Uttama Purusha Ekvachana Vido Latova. So uh, in Latlakara, Vido Latova, uh, for Latlakara also Vidhatu will get all the nine pratyas of uh, Parasmaipada declensions of lit. So, 
So I'm sorry for the error. Not first five, but all. So therefore, this Veda, Latlakara, with Lekh Pratya, in Uttam Purusha, Ekvachana also. I know. Sarvani Tom Vetha, Sarvani Tom Na Vetha, Na Tom, Na Tom Vetha. So the Tani Aham is in Prathama Vibhakti, Tani is Dvitiya Vibhakti. Tani Sarvani, both are in Vithya Vibhakti. Vetha is Madhya Purusha Ekvachana. You do not know. Kathantari Tava Nitya Ishwarasya Nitya Ishwarasya Dharma Dharma Bhave Pi Janma Iti Ucchate. Just give me a moment please. There is a very weird weather going on in Mumbai. So I have to switch on and switch off the fan as throughout the day. So, Katham Tarihi Tava Nityeshwarasya Dharma Dharma Bhavayapi Janma Ite Ucchate. If there is a question as to Ishwara, see Bhagavan Ishwara Avatarana also needs a Sharira. Sharira is for Bhoga. Jeeva Sharira is for Bhoga. How can there be Bhoga without there being uh, sharira and how can there be sharira without there being earlier bhoga, earlier karma, earlier vasanas. So without any karma, how can there be janma? Karma in the sense of punya and papa. Only if punya and papa are, are, are in a good measure, a balance, a particular balance of close to 50-50, a manushya sharira is taken. Now Krishna is saying that I have been born many times. Meaning that Janma is continued. Now someone may raise a doubt. For Avatarana also, there has to be some karma. Otherwise, how will that karma meaning karma phala? As a karma, earlier karma and karma phala is hanging for fructification. Just like for a jiva, thereby jiva takes a jiva sharira, a manushya sharira or any other sharira. Thereby, a doubt is raised. How can Ishwara who is Nitya, Nitya Ishwara, he does not have any dharma and dharma. He does not have punya papa. So punya papa bhave, when there is absence of punya and papa for Bhagavan, Ishwara, how can tava and tava, Krishna, for you, who is Ishwara, Nitya Ishwara, who is ever the karma phala data, you himself cannot have karma. Giving karma phala is also not karma for him. It is, it is his sabhava. So katham tarhi tava, how is it that Nitteshwara se tava, you who are ever Ishwara, ever Lord, ever overlord for others, you, who does not have any punya papa, how can there be janma? Tava janma katham bhavati. How can there be janma? Avatarana, how is it? How, did, how were you born as Rama? How were you born as anything? Varaha ityadi sadde ucchate ajo pisannavya yatma bhutanami shropisan. Prakutim Swamadishthaya Sambhavami Atma Mayaya Atma Mayaya Sambhavami I use my own Maya Shakti to take Janma myself. He says that Avataranam, for that I don't need any karma. I am not bound to take Janma, but I take Janma through that Maya Shakti. And Ajaha Pisan even being worthless, I take Janma. So this is the Maya Shakti. Mayaya Sarvasya Sambhavat. Anything is possible with Maya. And Maya there can also be interpreted as magic. One can do anything with magic. Anything is possible through magic. Because you say it is just, you can't explain it. You say it is magical, you know. It is magical. What is magical? You don't ask it is magical. How, how it happened, we don't know. How it happens, we do not know. This is how it is. That's why people call it as Leela, Krishna Leela. So, so even while having 16,000 odd wives, he is still a Brahmachari. How? Because that is his Leela. It is in their Sopna that they see that they are dancing with gopis. Or, uh, gopis see that Bhagavan Krishna is, is with each of them. All at the same time. They each of them see because it is in their dream. 
it is in their own dream world krishna has nothing to do with it he he is nitya brahmachari and aja is an birthless also he takes birth atma maya through his atma shakti atma maya shakti he wants own atma is a reflexive his own shakti my own maya shakti he says and maya which deludes everyone he wields that so with that wielding he shows that he is born he shows that he is born but he is not born whereas jiva comes under the delusion he thinks bhagwan is born as an avatara as rama krishna and he jiva also thinks that i am born and i am bound so from bhagwan's perspective he is ajapi san atmamaya uh, प्रकृतिम प्रकृति इज माया माया प्रकृति मायाम प्रकृतिम स्वाम स्वाम मायाम और स्वाम प्रकृतिम अधिष्ठाय टेकिंग सपोर्ट ऑफ दैट शक्ति आत्ममाया संभव में टेकिंग सपोर्ट ऑफ दैट थ्रू दैट शक्ति ही ही इज बॉर्न ही सेज आई एम बॉर्न संभवामी आई एम बॉर्न सो यू शुड पुट इन द फर्स्ट पर्सन ऑफ कृष्ण ही सेज अहम संभवामी स्वाम प्रकृतिम अधिष्ठाय स्वाम इज इन सामानाधिकरणित प्रकृतिम स्वाम प्रकृति अधिष्ठा आत्मया संभवामी थ्रू दैट मैजिकल शक्ति आय माय मैजिकल शक्ति आय एपीयर टू बी बॉर्न सो संभवामी माया कैन ऑल्सो टेल यू दैट ही एपीयर्स टू बी बॉर्न ही इज नॉट रियली बॉर्न सिमिलरली जीवा ऑल्सो एपीयर्स टू बी बॉर्न बट ही टेक्स इट एज रियल जस्ट लाइक ही टेक्स अवतार एज रियल ही टेक्स ही टेक्स हि शरीर रियल ही टेक्स एज द एंटायर प्रपंच रियल एंड देअर बाय संसरती जीवा संसरती एंड अव्यय आत्मा अव्यय आत्मा मीन्स वंस हूज हू कैनॉट हैव जन्म अजा कैनॉट हैव जन्म एंड अदर विकार आज आर कव कवर्ड हिर अव्यय मीन्स इन डिक्लाइनेबल सो कैनॉट डी के सो हैविंग बीन बॉर्न ओनली वन कैन डी के सो इफ वन कैनॉट बी बॉर्न हाउ कैन देर बी डी के डी के इज फॉर शरीर शरीर इज बॉर्न एंड शरीर हैज डी के सो दैट्स अनदर वे टू सी Atma is not born. Sharira is born. Sharira decays. Jiva thinks that the Sharira is real, and Sharira he is himself is Sharira. Whereas Bhagwan knows that he is not Sharira. That's another way to look at it. And Avyay Atma means Avyay can also be taken as the final decay, which is death. So Ajaha meaning Janma Rahita, and Avyay means Mrityu Rahita. So Ajaha api Avyay Atma api Avyay Atma is a Bahuri. अव्यय अव्यय आत्मा यस्य सह अव्यय आत्मा सो इवन बीइंग बर्थलेस एंड डेथलेस एंड बाय सेइंग ए बर्थलेस एंड डेथलेस ऑल द अदर फोर विकारस आउट ऑफ द सिक्स विकारस दे आर आल्सो डिनाइड व्हेन द द फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट आर डिनाइड एवरीथिंग इन बिटवीन इज डिनाइड सो ईश्वर अपि सन एंड बीइंग द बीइंग ईश्वर भूतानाम ईश्वर ही इज ईश्वर फॉर एवरी वन भूतानाम ईश्वर अपी सन फॉर ऑल बींग्स ही इज ईश्वर इवन बींग सो ही सेज आई एम बॉर्न विथ माय माया शक्ति एंड टेकिंग इट अंडर कंट्रोल मीन्स वील्डिंग दिस पॉवर आई आई एम बॉर्न आई अपीयर टू बी बॉर्न फॉर अदर्स एंड आई डू वॉट एवर दे वॉन्ट फॉर देअर सेक आई टेक अवतारा विच विल बी कंटिन्यूड इन द आइडिया इन द नेक्स्ट श्लोक सो अज अपी सन अहम 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 अजह अपी सन अजह अपी सन अव्ययात्मा अपी सन भूता ईश्वर सो आई एम जस्ट रिपीटिंग दिस नीड नॉट बी रिपीटेड बट अपी सन स्वाम स्वाम प्रकृतिम विच इज सेम एज माया प्रकृतिम अधिष्ठाय अधिष्ठाय आत्मया अधिष्ठा इज अधिपूर्वक स्था धातु एंड त्वा विल बी रिप्लेस बाय लेवंत हैविंग हैविंग टेकन support of uh, support uh, having taken support of prakriti taking basis in prakriti uh, atma maya 
ಆತ್ಮಮಾಯೆಯ ಸಂಭವಾಮಿ ಭವಾಮಿ ಸಂಪೂರ್ವಕ ಭವಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಸಂಭವಾಮಿ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ತಚ್ಚ ಜನ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ಎರರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ಬೈ ನೌ ತಚ್ಚ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋ ಚಿರ ಇಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಎ ಚಿರ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ when when there is a sandhi not sandhi so there is a hal sandhi so what happens here is there is a font error tachya janma kada kimartham chaitichyate that janma when when does it take place so another point here dharma uh, dharma bhave bhave api janma another way to explain this is through this next shloka also yada yada hi dharmasya all this <coughs> when people feel that somebody should come over you know to protect protect this dharma to take care of adharma somebody has to come here and you know it, it is not possible by human effort anymore so someone else should come who is ishwara should take avatara so then this prayers add up to karma this prayers as an answer to the prayer what becomes the karma which forces bhagwan to take avatara avatara is uh, this karma this karma of people praying that generates karma and that karma karma phala has to be given by bhagwan so he has to do avatara and his sharira is a result of that karma of karma of prayer so this is another way to explain as to how one who does not have dharma dharma still that's the reason you can also explain why rama cried for sita rama cried for sita it is a fact whether he uh, he played a role uh, we can explain that away and then we can say that, uh, krishna also had an aropa of uh, chauryam that he he was called as a thief not navneeta chura uh, that that was a different thing navneeta chura was as a kid it, it was a play it was a real play uh, the way every kid plays but uh, he was uh, that he had stolen something valuable Uh, that was an aro padan on him he had to suffer for that what is that suffering all that is is the karma of people which adds up through prayers and through uh, the request for someone to do something and thereby karma accumulates this is good and bad which accumulates and then forces bhagwan to take avatara thereby dharma dharma abhave this dharma dharma abhava is what bhagwan's dharma and adharma is lacking but people's dharma and samashti samashti is all the people put together their karma adds up for avatarana because they uh, they themselves will not undergo bhoga of all karma that karma which is a prayer for someone else to come down to avataranam that prayer generates a body for ishwara to uh, take up as an avatar so tachya janma kada kimartham cha uchyate when when does that janma take place and for what purpose that is answered here by say yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam adharmasya tadatmanam srujamyaham so yada yada hi dharmasya glani hi bhavati he bharata otherwise it is simple he bharata yada yada whenever yada yada is with the vipsa you know it is when and when put together will become whenever yada yada hi dharmasya glani glani is fall fall of dharma glani hi decline bhavati tada tada you can say tada tada also since there is each and every such time tada and uh, abhyutthanam adharmasya abhyutthanam so dharmasya glani hi bhavati and adharmasya adharmasya abhyutthanam growth there is a growth of so on one hand so there is a double effect what is the effect first dharma is deteriorating then adharma is growing abhyutthanam so bhavati tada that time so there is so it's a it's a it's a multiple effect it's a Uh, it's not only only dharma is declining but adharma is growing so it's it's a double the loss tada double the damage they tada what aham 
आत्मानम सृजामी आत्मानम आत्मानम सृजामी मीन्स आई आई क्रिएट माई सेल्फ आई क्रिएट माई सेल्फ मीन्स आई टेक जन्म सृजामी संभवामी इत्यर्था विशेष से डरली सृजामी These are simple shlokas. Dharmasya glani hi bhavati. There is a fall of dharma. He Bharata sambodhana vibhakti and adharmasya adharmasya abhyutthanam bhavati. Tada atmanam surjami. Aham atmanam surjami. Kimartham, so Kimartham, why? What is the purpose of such avatara? Paritranaya sadhuna vinashaya cha dushkrutam dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge So, surjami sambhavami, surjami again sambhavami, you say. For what purpose? Paritranaya cha turtiye kocha sadhunam paritranaya. Sadhunam is shashti bhavvachana. Sadhunam paritranaya. Dushkrutam cha vinashaya. Dushkrutam is those who, again Shashti Bhavachana, those who are Dushkrut. Means Dushkrut means those who do Papa Karma. And what else? Third, third reason given is Dharma Sapstapana Arthaya. Dharma which is deteriorating and is almost lost. lost. The way he has said that earlier Mahata Kalena, by, by a great amount of time, the teaching which was continued in Rajarshis between among Rajas and among Rishis, that knowledge is Nashtaha. Nashtaha Mahata Kalena Nashtaha. Nashtaha Bhavat. So, for that reason, she came to regenerate that. Regenerate that knowledge which is Yoga, which is getting lost in time. So, Dharma Sapna Arthaya. Uh, for dharma and dharma is vaidika dharma and jnana also. All of that dharma sapanartha to establish dharma again, sambhavami yuge yuge. Across yugas, each yuga will have not one avatara. His avatara is said to be one. But it is upalakshana for all avataras who are doing dharma sapana, who have realized their self, they are all considered to be avataras in amsha, in parts, bits and pieces. There in Sampradaya, we call everyone as every Acharya is considered who teaches the knowledge and who himself has realized is considered as Ishwara. So that is the tradition. That's why we call everyone as Bhagavan. Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi, Bhagavan Shankaracharya, Bhagavan Bhashyakara, Bhagavan Tikakara. All these are for us Bhagavan. Like Krishna, we don't consider any difference between the two. Why? Because Upanishad Vakya itself says, Shvetashvatara Upanishad ends by this mantra, uh, where it is said that, uh, Yasya Deva Parabhaktir Yatha Deva Tatha Guru Tasyete Katita Shartaha Prakashante Mahatmanaha. So, person who considers Guru, who has uh, Parabhakti in Devata, in Deva, Yatha Deva Tatha Guru. How he has bhakti in Deva, in Ishwara, similarly he has in his Guru. Yatha Deva Tatha Guru, Tasye Ete Kathita Yartha. This, all this which is being taught through Shastras, revealed, they become revealed. These Shastras talk to that person. And Kathita Hi Arthaha. Kathita, Tasye, Tasye Ete Kathita Yartha and Akathita also. If you separate the Sandhi, Savarana Dirga, Tasye. Kathita and Tasya Ete Kathita Shartaha. Kathita and Akathita also, if they are separated as Kathita, then whatever has been told is revealed and also what is hidden, Akathita. Whatever is hidden also is revealed. Therefore, for us, Paritranaya Sadhuna Minayashaya Jindushkritam, it need not be only Krishna. It is anyone who is doing Dharma Samstapana, who is doing Sadhurakshana, Paritrana and Vinasha of Dushkrit, they are all avataras for us. So, paritrana sadhunam, this is the reasoning. Sambhavami yuge yuge. So, Bhagavan is saying that I am born, across yugas I am born. In each yuga, yuge yuge, across yugas. Uh, 
ओके सो युगे युगे संभवामी युगे युगे अहम संभवामी दिस इज द मेन सेंटेंस फॉर व्हाट पर्पस साधुना परित्राणाय दुष्कृता विनाशाय एंड धर्म संस्थापनाथाय युगे युगे अहम संभवामी तत् व्हाट इज दट तत् तत् जन्म तत् जन, जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्यम एवं यो वेति तत्वतः त्यक्त्वा देहं पुनर्जन्म नैति मामेति सोर्जुन सो भगवान इज सेइंग तत् जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्यम मे मम हे अर्जुन अर्जुन that which has been said here that 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 so what is that janma janma karma cha who janma me janma so mama me divyam divyam divine it is divine And how how is it divine he has said that he is born himself without any karma ajapi san this is the knowledge how aja can be jaha cannot be it is not possible for aja to be ja but maya ya sambhavati through maya it is possible so avyaya avyaya one who cannot change appear to change the same uh, krishna ishwara has taken birth as krishna and he is growing as a child unto this young and then as an old person avyaya api san the body is growing but bhagwan is without any change and he himself appears as this world same bhagwan ishwara appears as this world tasmad vai tasmad atmanah akasha sambhut akashad vayu vayo ragnih agnirapa advya prati prithivya annam annat purushah and then this purusha is who ishwara born from everything all of these pancha mahabhutas are born from bhagwan how can it be born from bhagwan when he is avyaya he is undergoing no change and still there is this prapancha which is ishara how can that be it has to be without change if something is there it has to be only an appearance it cannot be real it cannot be real otherwise there is no logic which says that something becomes something else without undergoing change so it is it is pure jnana so ajah api san avyaya atma bhutanam ishara api san prakrutim samadishtaya sambhavami atma maya sambhavami this atma maya ya is very important it is an appearance just as through magic something appears and that knowledge janma karma ch me divyam that is the divyam how maya ya sambhavati ishwara without going undergoing any change he is he is nishkriya he is nirvikari and he is uh, he is nirguna brahma and that nirguna brahma avyaya ajah appears to undergo all sorts of changes that is divyam so janma karma cha and all karma also whatever karma he is doing including that karma phala datrutvam that is also karma all that and all that krishna himself if you take krishna literally krishna also what he is doing all that janma and karma is what divyam evam he arjuna evam in this manner the way i have taught you now the way i have mentioned in the fourth chapter evam मे दिव्यम जन्म कर्म च यह वेत्ति यह वेत्ति यह कैन गो इन द बिगिनिंग आल्सो यह एवं मे दिव्यम यह सॉरी यह एवं मे सो वेत्ति वेत्ति इज द लटलकारा फॉर्म ऑफ विद 
with the latlakara pratyaya tip tip tas ji but had it been uh, null it would have become veda so veda and vetti have same meaning janma karma cha me the vetti so there we saw uttama purusha but in prathama purusha ek vachana also you will get veda janma karma cha vetti and how tattvata vetti the way it is not with ideas that you know it is leela it is swabhava swabhavata tattvata is swabhavata vetti this is my swabhava in mandukya mandukya karika bhagavan gaudapadacharya says that there are so many ideas across puranas also vishnu purana shiva purana all these puranas they give idea contradictory ideas one is great other one is shown as uh, doing his puja and defeated other way around also is there in some other purana all these ideas are there shiva is great uh, vishnu is great all these ideas are there and they are contradictory not only the devatas are contradictory with contradictory shaktis across puranas but their uh, their stories all these are there but the ideas across the board they are contradictory because tatparya is not in that tatparya is to show how the same sachidananda brahma becomes varied becomes devatas becomes so for ista devata aradhana it is given for upasana but it should not be taken literal tattvatah yavetti one who knows that shiva is ishwara krishna is ishwara vishnu is ishwara there is nothing else other than ishwara only ishwara is there so tattvatah yavetti janma karma cha so this janma karma cha is here is indicative it has taken for it will be elaborated further across the gita uh, other chapters also when uh, krishna will keep on questioning further there janma karma cha me divyam yah vetti tattvatah vetti in reality the way it is not with ideas of puranas and this is only the way it is said in one purana no padma purana bhagavat purana shiva purana you take any purana all these contradictory ideas should be uh, should be done samanvaya of they should be confluent in one goal you should understand that these various ideas across uh, across the puranas can be true only if they are just ideas they are not real otherwise you cannot say that one is greater in than the other in one upanishad uh, in sorry in one purana and in the other saying it differently opposite It, both cannot be true unless both are only ideas they are stories to drive home a point and missing that point people have this this dwandwa in upanishad also same idea what is the tatpare of the upanishad one upanishad talks about srishti in one way another upanishad talks about srishti in another way third talks about some other idea all these are just ideas so bhagwan gaudapada acharya says in mandukya all these ideas that it is bhagwan's leela it has been created with maya all these are just ideas they are contradictory with each other and they are not the tatparya of the upanishad upanishad tatparya is in sachidananda brahma with mahavakya being you ajaha janma rahita atma is you and you are without janma this is the idea there so tattvata yavetti deham tyaktva punar janma na eti eti is one does not get eti one does not get one does so na apnoti ityartha one does not get having given up this body deham tyaktva punar janmana eti punaha janmana eti he will not get janma again maam eti who then what will had happen kim bhavati or kim eti maam eti he will attain me sah sah maam eti sah punar janmana eti deham tyaktva punar janmana eti maam eti जन्म इज देर हाउ विल आई गेट दैट कैंड ऑफ अ जन्म हाउ विल आई बिकम मुक्त हाउ विल आई बिकम अव्यय हू नोज भगवान जन्म इज लाइक दिस ही बिकम फ्री हाउ इज इट दैट how is that possible unless there is non difference abheda between the two you know that bhagwan as atma is without janma how can you merge with him makes no sense unless you are that atma that bhagwan is talking about 
मे जन्म कर्म च हेज टू बी इन उत्तम पुरुष एक वचन फॉर ईच एंड एवरी साधक जन्म कर्म च मे आत्मन मम दिव्य माई जन्म इज ऑल्सो दिव्य बिकॉज आय आत्मा एज आत्मा एम अज एंड अव्यय आई कैनॉट हैव जन्म दिस इज जस्ट अ डिल्यूजन इट इज एन एपियरेंस यह व्यक्ति सो ही वन हू नोज नॉट भगवान जन्म अलो वन हू कंसिडर्स आत्मा एज बर्थलेस दैट आत्मा मर्जिस विथ परमात्मा एज दो मर्जिस बिकॉज देर इज नो रियल मर्जर पॉसिबल बिकॉज यू आर नेवर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम परमात्मा पुनः जन्म न हाउ देहम त्यक्वा बिकॉज प्रारब्ध इज देर इन दिस अटैचमेंट विद दिस देह इज देर ड्यू टू प्रारब्ध वंस दैट ड्रॉप्स ऑफ त्यक्वा हैविंग गिवन अप दिस बॉडी सह देहम त्यक्वा पुनः जन्म न एति नी ही अटेन्स मी अटेन्स मी मीन्स आत्मा विच इज Attainment of the attained, praptasya prapti jnana na bhavati. That's why this is praptasya prapti. Jnana cannot give you something which is attainable through karma, which is really separate from you. Yah veti sah eti. Yah veti sah eti means what? Yah jana ati. Sah eti. One who sab prapno ati. Yah veti sab sah prapno ati or yah jana ati sah prapno ati means what? प्राप्त से प्राप्ति एव ज्ञाने न भवति व्हाट इज ऑलरेडी अटेंड दैट अलोन यू कैन अटेन विद ज्ञान ज्ञान कैन नॉट गिव यू समथिंग व्हिच इज अनटेंड फॉर देयर कर्म इज नीडेड एंड हियर भगवान इज सेइंग नो कर्म इज नीड वेत्ति वन हु नोस ही अटेंस ज्ञाने न मोक्ष इज वेरी क्लियर हियर एंड इट इज आल्सो क्लियर दैट वन हु नोस भगवान जन्म ही बिकम श्री देवर भगवान इज बर्थलेस आई एम आल्सो बर्थलेस आई एम ईश्वर दिस इज द आईडिया हियर इट इज It is clearly indicating Mahavakya here. We'll see the next sloka, which talks about Naisha Moksha Marga. I don't even pronounce that. In theory, Purva Mukhi. This Moksha Marga is not newly being taught. It is something which I have taught Aditya, and it is not that. Uh, it is even there is change in the way it is being taught. The path is different. A modern path. There is nothing called as a modern path. This was there earlier also. That he'll explain in the tenth sloka. We'll see in the next part. Huh? Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. That's it. Any questions? Yes, Anand. Um. Yes. For my, it is fifty uh, thousand crores. क्वेश्चन Shankaranandi discusses this, and it is discussed elsewhere also. See, what is the idea? Here? This is the arupan advaita. What is the arupan advaita? Atma, you are saying advaita. Then what is Maya? If he is saying Atma Maya, Atma and Maya are separate, are different. Then it is Dvaita. If Atma and Maya are one, then Maya undergoes this goes change. Therefore, Atma undergoes change. Then you cannot say Avyaya. Ajaha Avyaya, you cannot say. so it is this is was called as what is called as ubhaya pasha rajju so ubhaya pasha rajju means the rope that has been handed over to you you can't you have to pick one end and at both both ends there is a noose you can't avoid this so this is the aropa in the end they say that if it is advaita is is true is the tattva then how is it that uh, you are saying nirguna brahma brahma cannot be nirguna if maya undergoes change and maya is one with uh, brahma then brahma cannot be called as nirguna and if you say so this atma maya so and if a maya is said to be separate then you cannot have advaita then it is not advaita there is advaita so how do you resolve this the resolution is that maya is is said to be one by saying that uh, like the 
अग्नि उष्णवत यू इफ आई आस्क यू सो वी आस्क यू पूर्व पक्षी वो आस्क यू क्वेश्चन वेन यू से दैट द फायर इज हॉट दिस हीट प्रोवाइडिंग हीट इज द शक्ति ऑफ अग्नि ही हैव यू सीन इट सेपरेटली एवर सेपरेटली यू डोंट सी शक्ति सेपरेटली हीट इज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ऑफ अग्नि ही वी से प्रॉपर्टी बट हीट कैन यू से हीट इज सेपरेट फ्रॉम फायर You have never seen it separate, so you have to say they are one. So Agni Ushnavat Aikya, and Maya is what Maya is something which is Karyanumaya. Karyanumaya means seeing the Maya Karya. We take Nirguna Brahma the way Shruti says. Shruti says Brahma is Nirguna. You may not agree. Puropakshi may not agree, but you are Shruti Virodha. You are Shruti Virodha because you are contrasting the Shruti. We don't contradict the Shruti. So Advaitin says that Shruti says Brahma is Nirguna. At आत्मा ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मात्मा इज निर्गुण माया इज ब्रॉट इन टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ दिस कार्या कैन कम फ्रॉम अविकारी अकारी ब्रह्म अविकारी ब्रह्म निर्गुण ब्रह्म हाउ कैन कार्य भी दे सो माया इज कार्यानुमेय सिटिंग इन दिस कार्य प्रपंच वी हैव टू इन्फर समथिंग दैट्स वाय माया इज एट्रीब्यूटेड टू बी देयर एज एज शक्ति ऑफ निर्गुण ब्रह्म दैट अंडर गोज चेंज ही डज नॉट अंडर गो चेंज Now, if you say that amounts to dvaita, it does not because dvaita is from the perspective of the karya, which itself is mitya. So, when karya is understood as mitya, that Maya, which is karana shakti, and Brahma's kar, Brahma, Nirguna Brahma's karana tum will also become mitya. And from the perspective of the Paramarthika, there is no perspective at all. It is Nirguna Brahma only. There is no Maya. There is no Maya separate or within. Not needed. It is needed only from the karya prapancha. So, for that, as an explanation to what is appearing, we give an example. We we give uh, Maya as an explanation, but Maya is not really existent. This is how the uh, query is resolved. So, Atmana Maya. When you say it is his own shakti from the karya perspective, I wanted to mention this. So, in your, the context of your question, I explain. Is that clear, or you had some yeah. regarding that? No, no, it is clear. Mm, I had another. Atma Maya and uh, Maya Shakti. This lingers on. Maya is that's why it is said Anirvachaniya. Sada Sadhya Manirvachaniya. It is neither real nor unreal, but we can say that it is completely unreal from the perspective of Brahma. So, mm-hmm. in fact, uh, Bhagwan Bhaskar uses the word. He gives an example of Tuccha in Mandukya Bhashya. Only one place he has done that, as far as I know. He has given generally he gives the example of Raju Sarpa or your Karya Karana Samband. All these are there, but in the context of Maya, in the context of uh, in the Mandukya Upanishad, he gives an example, a Tuccha example. Generally, he does uh, Tuccha example is uh, uh, the uh, this thing, rabbit's horn. So he gives that uh, Shashashringa example. in the uh, to say what is this maya from the perspective of brahman it is completely non existent you cannot say it is existent sitting here you can say it is existent but from if you see brahma brahma does not have a perspective there is nothing other than him so when there is nothing other there is no maya shakti needed there is no shakti at all mm-hmm. therefore nirguna i I remember this vividly since uh, there was a long discussion on another list where a uh, uh, person who has studied the prasthana treya he still had this doubt and uh, you know, there was a lot of exchange of views going on, a lot of discussion going on. It lingers on, you know, unless uh, uh, unless someone has studied in the sampradaya, this doubt does not go. Most people do self-study and this doubt lingers on. This doubt comes in, and especially with the aropa, that remains. Uh, The doubt becomes stronger. Anyway, anything else? Anyone else? I had one more question. Like actually, I had this in three thirty itself, but I didn't ask. That is this Mayi Sarvan Karmani. Huh. And then today, because the <laughs> Shankara Sarya uh, Bhagwan has said that you are a mood car to ask this question. <laughs> <laughs> in the sense that, in, in uh, like in three thirty, Krishna 
explicitly says you surrender all works to me. So yeah. that that is that is from I think I don't know if it's come before, but that was the first time I thought for a minute that here Krishna is clearly stating that he is Bhagwan uh, and not the friend of Arjuna. And the yeah, next he, he, that's the idea. He can be both. He can be both at the same time, right? And, yeah. Uh, so I think now it, at, at the first point, the, but this is explicitly done only in the fourth chapter in in this context. About being Ishwara, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or, or, uh, That's why Bhagavad Bhashyakara says that if, uh, this kind, if this kind of a doubt is entertained. See, that's mm. why I, I don't know whether I said this here, I, I said earlier also. Puja Swamiji says that why does Krishna need to show that he is Ishwara? Yeah, he does need to show. Why you can't ask? Because who will consider anyone, you know, anyone with a sharir as Ishwara? Yeah, there has to be some Siddhi which is showcased. So he, he left at the Govardhan mountain. Otherwise, he could have even, you know, asked the clouds not to come and they wouldn't have come. But how will others know that he is Ishwara? Sometimes he, he has to gain the trust of the Shishya by showing some Siddhi. And Gurus also do it. Lot of Gurus have Siddhis. They, they showcase it only for that Shraddha. Unfortunately, it is that people don't gain Shraddha by just teaching, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is giving you something, uh, he can solve your doubts. Is some, you know, guidance is given. They don't value it so much. But if you show some Siddhi, then that Shraddha comes in. So, Satya Sai always used to say, you know, these Siddhis are like uh, my trump cards. But mm -hmm. this is not my real Siddhi. That real Siddhi is that infinite love. So, what so, Krishna also shows. So, can, can, is it right to say that till 4-5, uh, it is not explicitly stated right? uh, yeah. in the Gita that uh, he is no, Okay, okay. But what was the question? This was the question? That, that was the question because uh, in 3.30 I was seeing that he is saying surrender all actions to me and then I was like, okay, so here he is already saying that very explicitly no, uh, that he next question right in here he says that vyadesan uh, mama matam karma kartavim iti sapramana muktam tat tatha and then he says uh, there was a uh, even uh, kasmat puna see here here uh, bhagavan bhashyakara sees in the mind of arjuna says kasmat puna karana tvadiyam matam nanu tishtanti if you are this all powerful you know who can take care of everyone so arjuna is be it is not directly said but indirectly it is hinted right as you say mm -hmm. that uh, offer everything unto me if he is just a friend you don't offer all your worries to a friend you know generally yeah. you do it to an elder but someone who you, you trust need not be Ishwara but then slowly he is uh, he is not giving a shock you know shock treatment it is slowly mm -hmm. he, is, he is bringing him slowly unto the reality so that Tattva therefore he says in the end that Janma Karma Chamiya Divyam by saying Janma Karma, everything is included. Janma is, a, is an upalakshana for everything. And hmm. Karma is also everything that he has done. So, in Janma is not there. See, Janma me divyam. And what is that? Ajahapi san. Even hmm. be Sambhavami. So, I am Ajah Sambhavami. Contradictory, you know. Really contradictory. You see, see I am birthless and I, am bo I was born on this day. Somebody who says that it is contradictory, right? that's why you need the explanation is to be given in the Sampradaya. Similarly, he is saying that karma, if janma is not there, how can there be karma? But it is divya, he is saying janma and karma both are divya. Why? Because even being birthless, there is appearance of janma. Although there is no, I am akarta, still there is karma. And this has to be taken not from Krishna's perspective alone. It has to be taken in Uttam Purusha. That Uttama Purusha himself is Purushottama. See, look at the beauty of the language. Uttama mm -hmm. Purusha is first person. Purushottama is Paramatma. And it is, this Samasa, the word is just interchangeable. Purusha and Uttama, you can make a Uttama Purusha also. Mm -hmm. Uttama Purusha or Purusha, Purusha Uttama, both have the same meaning. So, Paramatma and Atma have the same meaning even in, even in the language itself. Vyakaran mm -hmm. also has its own philosophy. It lands in Advaita. It is very close to Advaita. It's Vada. Mm -hmm. 
He is revealing it uh, over a period of time and finally it goes till 11th chapter when he has to actually show his entire form. So, Arjuna is one of us, you know. Even if someone says, comes and declares to you that he is Bhagavan, how much will you, even like, assume your closest friend, you know, you know him since childhood. He tells you tomorrow that he is Ishwara. How much will you trust him? Real. Mm. It will take time. It does not have to happen across. Uh, something which can be done in two chapters, second and third chapter, it took additional chapters, you know, 18 chapters in total. So it took 15 more chapters. Even for a person like Arjuna who has seen Krishna's Siddhis, he has seen uh, Krishna do miracles of lifting up Govardhana Parvata as a child. Still, he says that I do not know how you, how you also can take away my shoka. But he submits half heartedly. Mm -hmm. Thanks to which we learned the Gita. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anyone else? Okay, so I'll see you in the next part. Huh? Namaste. Namaste.